What's up, Duelist? My name is Alex, also known as Inch95, and I'm bringing you guys a Clifford Demise deck profile. Unfortunately, I don't actually have all the cards yet 100% for it, just because it's Memorial Day weekend this weekend, and a lot of the post offices are closed, so the cards that I'm borrowing from friends, or the cards that I picked up with some credit online, uh, unfortunately, I won't have all of them, so I'm proxying quite a couple cards in this deck. Um, I will have most of them, so I'll probably give you guys a uh, updated profile next week if I get the chance before my final start for college. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hop right into it. I have the majority of the stuff for it, and uh, it had to be deck of the month. Everybody said it just because... Um, it's one of those decks that's been seeing a lot of play lately just because of Card of Demise and the amazing consistency and resilience this deck has against every other deck. And uh, it's pretty crazy. So uh, definitely one of the craziest Clifford decks we've had in a while. It's definitely back for the most part. It's really just a Floodgate dot deck. But um, three Helix, I don't really like running a lot of the other Cliffords. Like it's basically three Helix, double Carrier, double Stealth. Uh, one shell. I like this in this version just because, um, like in this deck a little bit more than most other people, just because I like the double attack. Yeah, you don't always have the double tribute going off, but um, I think it's still decent. I think it's still fine. It's another scale nine. So yeah, uh, one scout. And then this isn't actually a disc. This is supposed to be a monolith. I don't actually own a monolith. So uh, yeah, they're they're crazy expensive. Monolith is like 25, 30 bucks probably right now. And it's, it's not even that good of a card. I don't even like it that much in this deck, to be honest. But um, yeah, I like three Helix. I don't really like running Commandant in this deck just to search Necro Valley. I'd rather just run like Terraforming. But uh, yeah, oh, focus in. Come on, camera. Come on. There you go. But uh, yeah, 10 monsters, very straightforward. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't have a monolith, but um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, for the spells, you're on Triple Duality, Amazing Consistency. This is actually not 3 MST. This is 3 Carded Demise. Um, I don't have any yet, but, um, yeah, three card demise and three duality just uh, literally just multiplies the consistency of this deck to, um, insane amounts and absurd amounts. I know some people are trying the, uh, Into the Void version. I will profile that, uh, pretty soon. I do have Into the Voids, um, that I just got in the mail from a buddy online. I think I, I, th I think I got it from one of my friends, if I'm not mistaken, but, um, I did get Into the Void, so I may profile that deck later on, but this is supposed to be three card demise. Uh, double Summoners are double Necro Valley, one Sacrifice, and one Upstart, and then for the Traps, Triple Rivalry, I think Triple Rivalry is just really necessary, I think it's really, really good, um, especially against just, like, average players, a lot of the better players can play around it, but you're not going to be playing against good players a lot more often than not, so, um, you're usually going to be playing, you're going to be playing, like, worse players the majority of the time, so I think Rivalry is really, really strong. Um, I don't have any Drowning Mirror Force yet, I'll probably have them in the near future, hopefully, uh, one of my friends said he'd send them to me, so... Um, three Drowning Mirror Force is definitely just insane, especially with, um, with Soul Transition, which I only run as a one of, but there's a couple other versions that run, like, multiples of these. It works great in conjunction, just being able to tribute and bounce all your opponent's stuff. Um, definitely a win condition for the deck. Uh, I prefer three strikes. I know some people run two. I like three just because I think it's really strong against, um, two of the three top decks. I mean, like, any BA or PK Fire variants along with Cosmos. It's not really that good against Monarchs, but it's okay against them. I think it's a little bit underrated against that deck, personally, especially if they have Return on the field, but they're not always going to have the Return Karaz play, so um, Strike is still pretty good against them, I think. Um, one Warning, one Bottomless, one Skill Drain, one Emptiness. Uh, I like one Imperial Iron Wall in the main deck. I mean, like, why not? Like I said, there's probably, like, seven or eight cards you can move around. Usually, like, these last cards, you can pretty much have them be whatever, but, um, I think one Imperial Iron Wall is, uh, pretty cool. One Reclia, it's another target other than, um, you know, other than Sacrifice for Scout that's not a non-monster. Uh, I don't think Climate Change is necessarily that good in the main deck because you run so few monsters that, like, yeah, if you kill them, Climate Change is good, but seeing Climate Change early on or just, like, throughout, like, the first half of your game isn't very good because you're not going to have many monsters to resolve it on anyways. So, um, I think this is a little bit better in some cases. Uh, one Chaos Trap, well, I'd probably side a second one. Uh, one Soul Transition, I don't really like two because you don't have too many monsters to work with, and since we're not running uh, Climate Change, I think one is... Um, I think one is more than enough, to be honest. I don't think I'd probably be running more than one. And the last card, the 40th card, is Huge Revolution is over. This is really just for, like, Twin Twister and stuff. Um, you could try, like, Magic Drain and other cards if you want, but um, I just threw this in there. Why not? Um, I don't really have a side deck built, but I guess I can show you guys the, uh, the extra deck. The extra deck really can be whatever you want it to be, but I guess if you're trying to run... Uh, good stuff in there, I guess, for when you do go into it. You can run Utopia, Utopia Lightning, Karn Gorgon, uh, Reflecia, Dweller, Castell, Diamond Dyer, Emerald, which, since we're not running um, Climate Change, I think this is a little bit more relevant in that case. Um, if they're ever, like, randomly getting rid of all your stuff and it happens to be engraved, but um, Climate Change is probably best a side deck, if anything. Uh, one Majester, uh, one Volcasaurus, one Cybernova, one Infinity, this stuff like never comes up. You're almost never going to be summoning Monolith and like Scout like ever really. And if you do, you're not going to be able to overlay for these unless you can get rid of your scales. So 
Um, pretty much never comes up, but I guess it's there if it ever happens to come up like one out of maybe like a thousand games if you're lucky. Uh, one Ptolemy, uh, one Gaia, and lastly, number 38. You can also run um, either like Silent On or, or Giant Hand if you want. I didn't really think, I don't really think they're that good, but um, these are just the ones that I thought were a little bit better in most cases. I mean, these are probably a little bit more um, practical because they're fours, so you can bring them out easier than like the fives, but um, I think it's decent to have some of the fives in there. Um, like I said, Giant Hand isn't really that great against too much stuff other than like Monarchs right now, really, and even then it's not that great. And uh, Silent Honor is really just really shit right now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, other cards, I guess, you can talk about mostly. I don't know if I'd necessarily main any of these. I'd probably put these in, like, a side. It'd probably be Fissure, uh, Defissure, Macro, and maybe, like, um, Soul Drain. Uh, Matic Drains are pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Massacre of Strix, maybe. Imperial Line Walls, obviously. Dark Bribe's a cool card. I don't know if I'm going to try this out in the near future, but um, it's definitely something to think about. I don't like giving my opponent the plus one, but, like, if you're stopping, like, a really critical play, then... um then you should be winning anyway. Like, usually it's it's like one or two cards that break up an entire board, if anything. Um, you know, cards like Twin Twister and whatnot. Um, that I won't talk about yet. The Into the Void version is something I want to try out for sure. Um, but it, like I said, this is all just for a profile. I'm not really playing right now anyway. So the more, more Chaos Trap Holes, maybe other Imperial Iron Walls. There's more Soul Transition versions, and the Climate Change probably end up being in the side, if anything. But, uh, yeah, that's really it. Just want to talk about this, like, a little bit. It's pretty crazy. Um, really, you just want to <laughs> have a ton of backer removal against this deck, and um, that's really it. Like, Game 2 and 3, I think the reason why this deck is so efficient is because of cards like uh, Huge Revolution and a lot of the cards that prevent, like, side deck, like, back row destruction. You know, this and Magic Drain and whatnot can really stop Twin Twister, and um, a lot of players aren't really running MSTs which means they really just have to rely on their Twin Twisters or maybe even Decrees if they're siding them if they're playing like Mermails or something. But uh, yeah, pardon some of the proxies like I had, but um, I definitely didn't want to invest in like a random $25, $30 model. That's just dumb in my opinion. Um, it's definitely not that good. But I mean, if anyone has one out there and wants to hook me up or something, that'd be awesome. Um, I don't really have too many trades, but um, yeah, that's really it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another awesome video. I'll probably update this deck in the near future. And, uh, yeah, check out my DBZ, Dragon Ball Super, anime reviews, and, uh, other videos. So, yeah, peace out, you guys. Time Wizard is out. And, uh, always remember, duelists, limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. I'll see you next time, guys. Time magic.